Hi guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I'm going to be doing a pen drawing, a ballpoint pen drawing of a chimpanzee for you. I've never done one before, but I thought it would be a fun challenge. I've been practicing um, my fur techniques, my pen techniques um, and building up to being able to do something like this. So I thought it would be fun to share with you guys. So I'm using two pens today. Um, I'll be using my, um, well they're both ballpoint pens, but one's got a thicker nib, one's got a thicker, th thinner nib. So one's, the thicker nib is very dark black and the thinner nib is a lighter black. So I drew it in initially with my uh, mechanical pencil. So now I'm just going in and getting the fur textures and getting an idea of, of where his fur is, where his um, shapes are, and filling in the darkest darks. So I'm now going in, because his ears almost completely black in the photo, I downloaded this photo from Unsplash, which is a free photograph site. So now I'm going in and following the shape of his face and just doing sort of some shadowy areas. And now I'm drawing his mouth in and getting the shape of his mouth. And he's got quite a few wrinkles around and lines. So I'm just popping those in and now I'm doing his little shadows on this top lip and go around and just define areas and define more hair. So now I've got the thinner ballpoint pen, which is a lighter black, and I'm running that, filling in the gaps. So just very lightly running the, the colour around, all around everywhere there's white paper. And I'm following the shape of his face so just to give it, it'll give it dimension at the end and perspective. So I'm just following the shape and I'll do some cross hatching just to give it a little bit more depth of tone. And as you can see, I'm going on a slight angle into his lips and that just makes his little lips look like they're pouting a little bit. It's because in the photograph, his little lips are pursed. So now I'm just popping some wrinkles in and I'm darkening up his brow. He's got a very dark shadow over his brow. So I'm darkening that right up with an extra or an extra few layers. So all it is is just layering. The darker it gets, the more layers you do. So now where he's got his lightest skin, I'm going in with the light black pen and just doing a bit more definition and creating the mid-tones around his eyes and his nose. Just doing another layer here under his nose. And down on his chin. So now he's got a shadow area up here, so I'll just darken that up a bit. So just going in with extra layers. And now he's got a very, very dark shadow around the edge of his face onto his shoulder. So I'm using the dark black pen and I'm just creating that shadow by literally just doing as thick as I possibly can around his shoulder and just under his chin. And then I fade it out as I go down onto his shoulder and he's just got hair on the other side it's quite light so he doesn't need that much shadow there it sort of just defines his chin gives him a bit more definition so now I'm going back in with my lighter black pen again and just doing a few more tones a bit darker tone around his eyes and deepening up the shadows around his mouth and just filling that around his shoulder it's all starting to come together So now I just fill in any white bits I've missed. I'm going around his ear following the shape of his ear. And I come back into his face, do a few more lines and wrinkles that he's got that I'd missed. Now I'm just going back and any of the white spaces, I'm just putting a little shadowy, just a light cover of pen following the direction of his face. Just filling in all these little areas and just add a few more little heavier bits and we're just about done so i hope you enjoyed this it was lots and lots of fun i recommend have a go at ballpoint pen drawing it's awesome fun and i'll see you for next video have a great day guys i'll catch you then bye